Have you ever asked yourself, what is the size of Yemen? Yeah, me neither. At least, not until I received this peculiar comment under my video. Hey Boris, I have a video suggestion. Yemen's land area, when you search it up, it's 550,000 square kilometers. However, if you measure it through maps, its results come out in 452 or 8, including islands, square kilometers. The sources that claim Yemen is 550,000 square kilometers don't tell much, just plainly tell the size. You call to research this. I became intrigued, so I googled the size of Yemen, and voila, he wasn't lying. 555,000 square kilometers, as the first Google response with the same number used by Wikipedia. I wanted to see what went wrong, if this person was right or not. So I tried replicating the borders by drawing them on Google Maps, and I arrived at 456,000 square kilometers. I included all the islands, including Socotra, to ensure I didn't miss anything. There was no possibility of some small border error. The missing area was the size of a quarter of the country. So how did the 555 claim originate? With the help of Google Books, I managed to find the oldest mention possible. This is a statistical yearbook published by the Central Statistical Office of Yemen in 1991, the first one after the unification of the country. When I read the paragraph carefully, I noticed one slight problem. Yemen does not stretch into the 20th north latitude. In fact, the northernmost point of Yemen is actually the 19th altitude, as per the border agreement with Saudi Arabia. So what happened here? Before 2000, the border of Yemen with Saudi Arabia was not clearly demarcated, so it's quite possible that some official drew the northern border up to the 20th altitude for propaganda purposes to make the country as big as possible. When I plugged the new borders into Google, my assumptions seem to have worked out. And yes, the area includes the Robo Khali Desert, despite what the text says. Well, it's a case of like a few really bad sources. A very common occurrence indeed. Surely other sources must have gotten it right. So, I looked into the most reliable source, the CIA World Factbook, which claimed that the size of Yemen is 527,968 square kilometers. This same number can be found in the World Bank database, the United Nations website, as well as an old geography book that I found in my closet. But it still diverges from the Google Maps number. Why? I delved into previous editions of the CIA World Factbook and found the earliest editions where the number appeared, 1991, exactly a year after the unification of Yemen happened. I looked into previous editions and found separate entries for North and South Yemen, with the first one being 195,000 square kilometers and the second one being 332,868 square kilometers. Both numbers were summed up to form the total size of United Yemen, but were they correct? I plugged the borders used in the textbook into Google Earth and to my surprise, I found out that none of them were correct. North Yemen only had 136,000 square kilometers, and South Yemen was only 288,000 square kilometers. There was no possibility of some minor border or rounding error. They were both wildly off. What was happening here? It started with North Yemen. I was looking for the earliest mention of the number 195,000 square kilometers in relation to North Yemen, and after a lot of digging, I found it. The 1964 edition of the Statesman Yearbook described it as 75,000 square miles, or 195,000 square kilometers. This gave me a hint to search for the area in square miles. After a long search with the help of Google Books, I found the latest mention. The 1904 edition of the New International Encyclopedia described the size of the Yemeni Vela, a province of the Ottoman Empire. When I plugged its border into Google Earth, it fit perfectly into 195,000 square kilometers. Despite the fact that independent North Yemen was half the size of the Vilaya. Every book until 1990 continued to show its size from the 1904 source, repeating it without any fact checking. The number has appeared on every single mention of North Yemen I have found online despite being based on a completely different entity. So, after clearing that one up, I started looking into South Yemen. I found a peculiar pattern. 
Every source up to 1976 showed South Yemen's size as 287,000 square kilometers. CIA Factbook changed it to 332 in 1986. Encyclopedia Britannica did it in 1981. The United Nations did it in 1977. What happened in 1976 to cause such a sudden expansion? Nothing. Nothing about South Yemen's size changed. After much searching, I found it. Buried among other documents was an obscure World Bank report about South Yemen's economic situation from October 1976. Buried on the 51st page was a table with South Yemen's governance and their areas summing to 338,100 square kilometers. I used the administrative map contained in the annex to the report and Google Earth to calculate their sizes on the map when I found the problem. The seventh item on the list, Tamud, wasn't a government. It was part of the fifth province, as could be seen in the map. Its area had been counted twice in the table and led to a massive overestimation of South Yemen's size. And since then, every source has repeated this erroneous claim without even double checking. To wrap it up, for two unrelated reasons, the sizes of both North Yemen and South Yemen have been exaggerated. During their unification, sources simply combined them to create a new, even more inaccurate size. I wish I'd made it all up. To call it embarrassing is an understatement, because for a hundred years, no one bothered to fact check their geographical tables. Even every single online statistic that contains the size of the country is, well, wrong. No. Yemen's population density is not 65 for every square kilometer, it's 75. No, Yemen is not the 49th biggest UN member state, it's the 54th. No, Yemen is not slightly larger than twice the size of Wyoming, as the CIA claims. It's smaller, in fact. At this point, I don't know how to, the stake of this size could be fixed. Maybe someone watching my video could get this story famous and get all these institutions to finally correct this century-old error. Imagine how cool that'd be. To cheer up the mood a bit, I decided to make a little compilation of incorrect sizes of Yemen I found in different sources. Joy! I want to finish this video with a challenge to everyone who is watching this. Find any kind of geographic book, could be your school textbook, and find the size of Yemen and write it in the comments. The first person to get a correct size will get a shout out in the community post. This was Pepita, or Giant Isopod, voicing the video on Boris's request. See you later!